Hi friends, this is Gautam. In this video tutorial, I can teach the topic how to configure dynamic host configuration protocol using IP helper address. So in previous video tutorial, I can teach how to configure dynamic host configuration protocol. So for an example, the DHCP client can request the IP from DHCP server. So the DHCP server can provide the IP address to DHCP client. So the, all the process can be happen in same network. But in this video tutorial, the DHCP server on different network and DHCP client on different network. So one network to another network, the DHCP server can assign the IP address to DHCP client. So using IP helper address. Let's we can see this example topology. So this is an office network. So in office network, we can use the net ID as 172.16.100.0 slash 24. So it's an class B, but we can subnetting into class C. So 24 bit is a net ID and 8 bit is an host ID. So totally we can get 256 IP address. So in the 256 IP address, we can use only 254 address. So remaining two address is an one is net ID and another one is an broadcast IP. So the DHCP server, centralized DHCP server on different network. So from office network to the DHCP server, net server we can connect it through WAN network, through serial cable. It's a WAN network. So the WAN network, the net ID is 100.100.100.0 30. So first of all, we have to configure WAN network. Let's we can go to the R1 router and go to that particular interface serial 1 slash 0 and we can assign the IP address as 100.100.100.1. So interface serial 1 slash 0. So IP address hundred dot hundred dot hundred dot one subnet mask is two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty two. No shut down to enable this interface. Okay. So next we can go to the DHCP server router so in that we have to go to that particular interface serial 1 slash 0 and we can assign the IP address as 100.100.100.2 so interface serial 1 slash 0 IP address 100.100.100.2 no shut down to enable this interface Okay, now we can assign the IP address on WAN network. So both serial interface we can assign the IP address. Now we can go to the R2 router and configure the DHCP. So it can be the R2 router can be adds as an DHCP server. So the syntax for creating DHCP is IP DHCP pool. Next we have to give any name for this pool. Pool is a group. So here I will give cisco enter next we have to mention the net id and subnet mask for that so that net id is so 172.16.100.0 so this is an office network in this office network we can assign the ip address as 172.16.100 series through dhcp so the network space the net id and subnet mask we have to given in the r2 router so network Next 172.16.100.0 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So next we have to mention default router. So 172.16.16.100.1. So the default iPhone router and we have to give in the IP address. So this IP address is a default gateway for this network. So enter. Next dns server so i will give global G dns server so google dns server i have to given 8.8.8.8.8 exit okay 
so in R2 router we have to configure the IP address for we can assign the IP address to serial 1 slash 0 interface and as well as we have to configure DHCP configurations now we can go to the R1 router so in R1 router the local area network so the system can be connected to sorry the router can be connected to XP so Ethernet 2 slash 0 so in this port we have to assign the IP address so it's a default gateway for this office network so here I will give interface Ethernet 2 slash 0 IP space address so 172.12 so here we have to mention the IP address so what IP address we have to given in DHCP server so in DHCP server default iPhone router we have to mention one IP address so that that IP address should be an default gateway for this network so that IP address should be assigned in this port so 172.16.100.1 and so then subnet mask 255.255.255.0 no shutdown next we have to given the IP helper address should be configured here because here we can see this is an office network so this router is a not and DHCP server so the DHCP server is R2 router so when the XP operating system requests the IP address for request the IP address means it will send the broadcast to this router R1 R1 is not an DHCP server so if you configure IP helper address in Ethernet 2 slash 0 means it automatically send that broadcast message can be changed into unique cast and sent to the R2 router that is DHCP server so in R1 router Ethernet 2 slash 